everybody, I'm Crystal. I'm Andrew. And he is subbing in for Daniel, who is at the Renaissance Fair dressed like a pirate. So, so this, this might not go too well, but we'll ah. see. Okay, moving on. You do that one, because I don't want to read that. You know what's going to be making this real fun? Reading these without my glasses. <laughs> I would deal with it. All right, first question. My boyfriend's son broke my dick? Oh my god. So many places that could go wrong. Okay, so I was trying to prevent my boyfriend's son from getting a sugar daddy, who happened to be my boyfriend's worst enemy, but my boyfriend's son ended up snapping my dick in half. We hot glued it back together, but it's not really working and he got the sugar daddy anyway. What should we do? I can't tell if this is a troll question, if... I mean, no, in, no. No, in no way do I think this is a legitimate question. No, this is I can't tell if this is like a troll, if this is like some kind of weird D&D &D quest campaign no, 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 gone no, 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 wrong. No, 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 this is obviously a troll, but we're going to answer it anyway because we're good people. We are good people, so we always respond to the trolls. Okay, so my advice is instead Hashtag of using super... Sponsor. Instead of using super glue, you use Gorilla Glue and then use electrical tape over the Gorilla Glue. I'd say you don't even glue it back together at all and you make sure you... Hold. Remember, we, we already said before in the episode that dicks do grow back. Oh, yeah. After, after you snap them off, like a hydra dick, you know, just, you know, you cut one off, two more come out. And you hold on to it for like a rainy day, like for a special occasion. You don't know if you might need it because, you know, you got a bad case of the whiskey dick or if you need to use it as like a melee weapon against like an intruder. No, 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 you take it. Because who's going to continue to break into your house no. after you've thrown a, uh, thrown a plastic dick at them? No, you take it and then you plant it and then it'll grow back into a dancing dick just like Group did. Oh yeah, that's right. Or like in that episode of Scrubs where like he had to bury the testicle and it grew back into like a whole new Turk. So like, if like you bury the dick, it'll it'll grow back into a whole new person. It's something like that, yeah. Okay, next question. Can I die if I drink bleach? People say drinking bleach is bad, but someone told me it's good for you. What's the truth? My answer is I don't care if it's good for you. You drinking bleach is good for all of humanity. Make that sacrifice. Do you have anything to add to that? Because that's my answer. Drink it anyway for good humanity. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. What happens if you give orange juice to an orange tree? That is cannibalism, my dear children, and it is in fact frowned upon in most societies. So, um, you know how whenever you're making fried chicken and you have to smother the chicken into it with the egg? That's kind of the same situation here, you know? Either that or it'll just make the tree stronger. That's possible too. What you do is that you weed, you weeded out the weak oranges, and then you like you're, you're continually feeding it the weak ones so it can grow stronger. And it feed, the orange tree is feeding off of the power of its fallen brethren. Is what it's doing. So it's trying to make like a super orange, it, like a super orange tree. So like it so that you can eat them and you like gain the strength of those fallen oranges. Oh, okay. <laughs> I painted my computer black, but it still runs pretty slow. What else can I do? You need to play some police sirens because that'll damn sure make that black thing run faster. Oh my god, why? <laughs> I say you should paint it like just black polka dots on it so it can like gain the powers of a cheetah. <laughs> So, all right. That's how it runs faster, yeah. Yeah, it you know, yeah it gains a, yeah it gains the power of the cheetah and then it just like moves as fast as possible. Or like paint like that number off the Mach Five from Speed Racer. Oh, you just right. paint it like the Mach Five and then boom, it just it just runs. You got to make sure you paint it very specific things to gain their power. But whatever you that's do, what this episode is hashtag gain their power. But <laughs> but whatever you do. Do not check the inside, do not make sure that, do not clean any of the files, do not do any of the normal things because your computer is obviously abnormal and none of that That's work. not, that's not how you do diagnostic. Will my car go faster if I gas it up with rocket fuel? It'll make your car fly and then you will be destroyed in a fiery explosion. I like the great space coaster. On the great, great space, space car. I, mean, I say like um I say that what you should do is like is definitely take that fuel, take the rocket fuel, and then just make sure you put it in your computer later. That's how it, that's and how see you get it that to go will faster. Make it go faster. Yep. yep, that's what it is. That's how you make it go faster. I'm glad we solved that question. Right? Whew. Okay, so next question. Is it possible for tattoos to get passed on genetically from parent to child? Um I was wondering if it was possible if I were to get a tattoo, for example, and I had a baby with someone who has tattoos too, the child could be born with the tattoos or develop them later. Someone told me it was true. Is it? 
In The Sims it is, I think. Or no, that's just dyed hair. Yeah, in The Sims, if you dye your hair, that, sh that becomes genetic and it gets passed on to your child. I'm surprised it doesn't do that with the tattoos. In most movies I see where a child is born with a mark or a tattoo that's specific, it usually means they're the Antichrist. In or that which they're case, destined to form a terrible band. Or destined to form an awful band. Oh, Tenacious G was great. Ha. No, so if your child is born with your tattoo, that obviously means that that was a clone of you, that you birthed yourself, is what is what it obviously means. Asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. Parthenogenesis. Yeah, yeah I mean, going into actual science here, that's what that would be. Yeah, we which just had a smart answer on here. Which means that you really need to discuss with your husband how he has no parental rights over this kid, like, whatsoever. It's not his kid, it's your clone. It's your birth clone. It's your X-23. Whoa. Way to be topical. Ha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. How to unboil an egg. Freeze it. Freeze it. it. Same thing. Yep. Freeze it. I don't know if that would actually work, though. I mean, um, if boiling an egg consists of dipping it into really hot water, then the only thing that would work is freezing it, right? I mean, I... Sneak it back up the chicken's butt. Maybe. Maybe maybe, maybe the chicken will incubate it properly. And it's how it you will unbirth... Turn, and it'll turn to mute. Mucus again. I mean, if you un if you want to unbirth someone, you stick it back up the person. If you want to unboil something, you stick it back up the chicken. I butt. see you trying that, and then like you you boil the egg, you refreeze it, and then you you pop it open and crack, and like a whole chicken comes out. Yeah, that's what happens. But not even a chick, like a whole fucking chicken that falls right out of it. I think that's science. Or you could just eat the boiled egg, and then because it would be no more, it technically wouldn't be boiled. Is this true? Yeah. That's that think? is a method. That is a method that is on the table here. Do something like that, yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. That's it for Yahoo Answers. I'm Crystal. I'm Andrew. Like and subscribe for more awesomeness. Bye. Bye.